Hello, uh, my name is James Nyaga Ngatia. Uh, born, raised, and pretty much spent all my life in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, I am a Rise Global winner for the 2022 cohort, and I'm excited to be in this uh, wonderful event. I think the way children are most affected by climate change is that they think they are not. The, not in a bad way, but I think the ignorance that they have is a pretty negative impact on themselves uh, as much as everyone. And well, I wouldn't blame it on them. I would blame it on everyone else who's, you know, not taking the time, you know, to train them that, you know, climate change is an issue. It's not like a scam by the government. It's something that affects everyone. So if they know that, they can even find solutions and stuff. So I think that's a major way that it affects them. I feel it's very hard to, you know, find an adult, maybe 50 years, 30 years, who has some passion for climate change all of a sudden. He's worked a nine to five almost all his life and then all of a sudden wants to find climate change. It's so hard to find that. But kids, if you, you, you know, you tell them this is an issue, 10 years to come, you won't have the glaciers, you you have forests. If you tell a kid that, they'll be like, wow, I then I really need to do something. So because it's very easy for them to come up with interests and passions related to fighting climate change, it's a very key thing that they need to be involved in such. I feel the greatest power tech has in tackling climate change is the, its power to tell the story of climate change. I don't think there's a, any other resource greater than tech in telling stories of climate change. You have satellite technology and maybe something like Google Earth where uh, Google Earth Voyager, there's like a time lapse where it shows you maybe the melting glaciers since 1998 to date. That, that's very nice. You, you show people that instead of telling them facts which maybe they won't listen to. If you show them that, if you show them a climate shift index, if you show them this website that does this, if you show them videos, uh, you know, such. If you use the power of tech to tell people convincing stories about climate change, its effects and its reality, it will do amazing things. Yeah, and it's very convincing.